Hi everyone and welcome back to another Check It Off with Caitlin video. In these videos we go through my to-do list and check things off together and get things done. I hope these videos bring you motivation and inspiration to do the same in your home. Today we are going to be focusing on cleaning, decluttering, and organizing some spaces in my home for the new year. I also want to give a huge thanks to Walmart and Bear for sponsoring today's video. If you're new to my channel, welcome, and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I really appreciate you guys being here with me today, and I really hope this video helps motivate you. If you are new here though, my name is Caitlin, and on my channel, I share a lot of day in the life vlogs. Within my vlogs, I do a lot of to-do list type stuff too, but I also like to occasionally share dedicated videos like this on my channel. If you love the Check It Off with Caitlin series, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos like this and follow along with our day-to-day -day life through our vlogs, please make sure to hit Hit that red subscribe button down below. Anyways, this is currently where all of my supplements and medication are stored. It's not totally disorganized, but I know we can do better, so we're gonna get started on this project here. I went to Walmart and got everything I needed to help me organize this space. I bought bins, a Lazy Susan, and vinyl for labels that I'm going to be making with my Cricut machine. We also stocked up on our favorite bear products. Both Ty and I take the Claritin Allergy 24-hour non-drowsy 10 milligram tablets, and this is the 70 count. And then Scarlett takes the children's Claritin Allergy Chewable Tablets. This is the 30 count in the flavor Grape. And then we also grabbed some Alka-Seltzer Plus Max Strength Power Max Gels for cold and flu. And these are the day and night liquid gels in the 24 count. Our family always struggles with allergies this time of year in Arizona. And Claritin is always what helps us. And also with Scarlett being in school, there's a high percentage that she'll likely bring home a cold. So I want to make sure that we have some cold and flu over the counter products on hand. When my husband and I get outdoor and indoor allergies, we use Claritin 24 hour non-drowsy relief tablets to relieve the sneezing, runny nose, and itchy throat. It always seems to help us. And Scarlett is also very picky about medicine and how it tastes, but she is always willing to take the grape children's Claritin chewable tablets when she needs it. Anyways, let's get started on getting this organized. First things first, I'm going to make sure all of my bins fit correctly and give everything a place. And then I'm going to work on labeling our bins. It can get confusing refilling our vitamins each week, so I want to dedicate bins to each of the vitamins we take, so it's a much easier process to refill our vitamin containers, plus I want to have a dedicated spot for all of our medication, allergy medicine, that kind of stuff. I'm going to use my vinyl that I purchased from Walmart and my Cricut machine to create the labels. Okay, so here's an aftershot of how our vitamins slash supplements slash medication slash allergy medicine cabinet turned out. As a mom, I want to be as prepared as possible for when our family is needing cold and flu relief or some allergy products. So I'm really happy with how all of this turned out. And this cabinet is now super functional and it'll be really easy to grab whatever we're needing. Anyways, moving on to our junk drawer. I'm going to start organizing this now. And as you can see, it definitely needed. This drawer made absolutely no sense. And our bug spray that was in here actually spilt and ruined the cabinet, which I'm not happy about. Definitely wore down some of the wood, but it is what it is. So I tried to clean it up the best that I could without ruining it more. I love this little baggie organizer. I'll make sure to link everything I can down below in the description box too. But right now I'm just going to go ahead and get this nice and full. And I moved this to this drawer so these can just be easier to grab. Next, 
I quickly wanted to organize this bin. This is where I keep all of our like paper plates and napkins and extra tablecloths and plastic cups and stuff like that. So I wanted to quickly organize this because it's been bothering me because it's overflowing and I just wanted to make it make sense. All right, it is a new day, and today we are going to be tackling our hall closet. You guys, this is a big job. <laughs> this is a pretty big job. So here's a good before of what our closet looked like, and I quickly wanted to just share the after before I get started. So you can kind of see how this turns out. Um, but let's go ahead and get started with the process. So the very first thing I wanted to do was completely clear the closet and get everything in piles that made sense. Um, a lot of this stuff didn't need to be in this closet and could be placed somewhere else in our house. So I just wanted to put all the like items together. So like the decor was put together, my electronic stuff was put together, um, all of like the party stuff, like the wrapping paper, the bows, that was all put together. So you guys will see here in a second. Okay, I'm about to clean out all of this, wipe everything down, clean the floor in here. And I have everything kind of separated into piles. This is like electronic stuff. This is all my Cricut stuff. I have like present stuff, decor over there. Um, these are like special memorabilia stuff. Scarlet stuff like over the past years from school. And then I have all, all of these frames, which we're gonna go through these. I'm probably not gonna keep all of these, but I'm genuinely curious. How did all of this fit in this little closet? I really don't know. <laughs> So these little shelves were originally in our master bedroom closet, but we had our closet recently like completely redone and I no longer need these. So I've been holding on to them and I'm glad I did because I felt like I could use them at some point and they fit perfectly. I'm excited to take you guys through a few more videos like this where I declutter and organize. I have so many different projects that I wanna do in 2022 and it's all gonna begin with decluttering and organizing first. I'm really getting the itch to do some redecorating, which I love and I know you guys really enjoy as well. So we shall see. I also wanna do like a, I don't know, laundry room makeover. I might paint it, add wallpaper, 
So lots and lots of fun projects coming up in 2022 and I'm excited to take you guys along with me. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see down below in the comments. Do you want to see more videos like this? Do you want to see some more decorating, more vlogs? Although every time I ask this, everybody always says more day in the life vlogs. You guys seem to really enjoy my vlogs, which I love because I enjoy those as well. But yeah, let me know down in the comments what videos you'd love to see in 2022. Okay, so once again, here is the after of our hall closet. It is much more functional and has room to grow as well, which is really nice. I don't love the aesthetic of it, but that's okay. It's a closet. I think the most important thing about this is it's functional and everything has a place. And like I said, there's room to grow, which is really nice. Okay, quick tour. There is so much more space in this closet now, just in case we need to add things to it. We want to get more games and stuff, so I wanted to leave space for that. This is totally clear down here. If you guys remember before, it was packed full. A lot of this stuff went to donations or went into our spare bedroom closet. So this space is empty. Those are something I use for Lollico content. And then these are our games, and here are just two books that need to go back on our bar cart, but this is going to be like our little game area. This is all of my Cricut stuff. So I have vinyl and everything in here and then I have like everything I need for my Cricut, my heat press. This is my laminator though, so I do have that over here and then some of these are empty. So I just put them there, so that's my hot glue gun. Um, so in case I need them, there's already a space. And then I just have these bins. I've had these bins for years, so I don't know. I think I got them on Amazon, but there's really not much in here. Um, this is my letter board. And then I think there's some picture frames in here. And then up here, I have my camera. Um, I have like a backdrop, a large letter board. I have my drone in there. And then I just have some other like technology stuff, um, cords, and then we have paint, paint, and then an empty bin. So much more functional, a lot more organized, and room to grow. All right, so next I'm gonna share some befores of some like fabric that needs to be cleaned. There's a pin on this chair that is not gonna come off. You guys will see in a second. I think it might even be Sharpie, but I had a few chairs and then there was something spill all over Scarlett's couch. I think it was paint, but I'm not entirely sure. And then she had also spilt yogurt. So I wanted to quickly get out my uh, little green machine that I have and clean all of this upholstery. Yeah, the Sharpie is not coming out. If you guys have any recommendations on how to get Sharpie that's been sitting there for months <laughs> out of a chair, let me know. I really don't think it's gonna happen. And honestly, this chair is on its last limbs. I really need to get a better chair for sitting at my computer. But here's an after shot of the chair. It honestly is not a great after shot, but I wanted to share. Anyways, next I'm moving on to this kitchen chair. This is typically the one Scarlett sits in and it just had food on it. And as you can see, the stains came out very easily. And the final thing I'm gonna do is clean Scarlett's couch and try to get this paint out of her couch, which actually did come out pretty well. I can still kind of see it. I'll show you guys an after here once I'm done. Um, but for the most part, it's not noticeable anymore. And this little machine works so well, by the way, might I add. You make me change.
All right, here's an after of the couch. And like I said, you can barely tell. It definitely came out pretty well. And also here's an after of the disgusting water from doing all of that. But I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video. Thank you guys for following along and watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>